Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this Saint Valentine's flowers with heart shaped petals. Consider subscribing with the bell, liking and sharing this video. In this way you motivate me to make more and more beautiful tutorials for you. And by the way, uh, down there in description, I have a video for similar earrings with heart shaped petals, but they are larger. And if you want, you could check them out. Thank you so much for watching. Your support is so valuable to me. Liking, sharing and commenting means so much. And now without further ado, let's get started with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of 11 0 seed beads. What else I'm using are these earring findings that are liver bags. And by the way, down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, Facebook and Instagram pages to share pictures of your creations that you did following me, link for PayPal donations, link to my second channel, and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. So let's continue. This is monofilm and that is 0 0.006 inches, 0 0.15 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are flat nose pliers but they are not obligatory i use them only if i need to go through the difficult beads and to squeeze my monofilament to go through size 10 beading needle now i'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and i'll be back okay guys and i'm back and what i'm going to do in my first step is pick up 12 of these beautiful black beads Okay, and I have my 12 on my needle and I'm going to slide those down. Here I will stick my needle in my mat and what I want to do is make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making here a loop. And I'm going twice through the loop I've made and I pull. And then what I want to do is make one more knot. And I'm pulling again. Okay, now I have this and what I want to do is go through some beads in this direction and pull again. Now guys, I'm going to pick up an orange bead and three yellow beads and then again an orange. Okay, this is what I have on my needle. And as I'm exiting through one of the black beads here, guys, I'm skipping the one that's on my way and I'm going through the following. Okay, this is what I do. My thread is exiting out of this bit and I'm going in this one, skipping one. Okay, you see what I have here? Pulling. Then I'm going to repeat this. Orange, three yellows and an orange. Skipping the one that's on my way and going through the following. Then again, orange, three yellows and orange. And skip the one that's on my way and go here. And I will repeat this three more times. Okay, and here I'm going through the very first bit that I was exiting from when I started this row. Okay, now I have this. Okay, then what I need to do is to go through some bits in this direction. Now I'm going through the orange and through the yellow and my goal is to exit through this yellow bead that's sticking out the most here at the top. And now I'm going to take three orange beads and I'm going backwards through this yellow just like this. Okay. Then I go through the following yellow as well. 
Then I take one black bead and I go through the next two yellows exiting again from this bead, the middle one of the three that's sticking out the most. And here I'm adding three orange beads, go backwards and then through the following yellow. You see here I have a loop between this yellow and these three orange beads. Then again black, go here in the yellow, in the first yellow. Then go in the next one that's sticking out the most. Then again I'm showing you one more time the whole process. Three orange beads go back and if you can in one movement also go through the following yellow then again one black and here okay guys and i will continue this until the end and i'll be back if you forgot how i'm doing it just rewind the video and repeat these three steps from here and meet me okay guys and now i'm adding my last black bead from this row and now what i want to do is go here at this black one like this and add two reds one black and two red beads and i'm going back like this Okay, this is what I have. Then I go through those yellow beads and I want to reach the next black one. And here again I need two reds, one black and two red beads. And I'm going back in circle and through all of the three yellows after that. Now I went through the first one and then I'm going through the next two and here through the black. Okay, then again two reds, one black and two reds and I go back just like this. Okay, and I'm going to repeat this three more times and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys and here I'm adding my last beads in this row. So what I want to do next is go in this direction and reach here again this part with the two reds, one black, two reds and I need to add again two reds, one black and two red beads. Here it is and I go through the first red one here. Okay, this is what I have. Then I take just one yellow and I go here in the orange. Then again one yellow and go here in the red. Here I'm adding the same sequence. Here it is. And I go through this red one. Then again yellow, go here, and again I'm going through this red but from the center to the outside in order to be able to add the next five beads. Okay, here they are. And I will continue these guys until the end 
and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you how to continue. I think it's easy and uh, if you forgot how I'm doing it just rewind and repeat these three steps one more time and I'll meet you here. Okay guys and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last yellow bead and pay attention I'm going through this red as the last step don't make the mistake to go through the top one. Okay now I will make another row guys and in order to start it I want to exit through this yellow next to the orange and I need a yellow a red and a yellow and I skip the orange in the center and I go in the following yellow and then draw as many bits as I can in this direction because my goal is to reach the next yellow okay now here again I need a yellow a red and a yellow I skip the orange in the center and I go through the following yellow and again through as many beads as I can in this direction. Okay, then again the same thing. My goal is to exit out of this yellow and I need again the same sequence. Here it is and I go here okay and I will continue this and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row and what I want to do next is go in this direction And I want to exit through these two red beads. Okay, I'm here next to the black one. You see here is my thread. And I want to take six red beads. Okay, I have my six here. And as I'm exiting from this bead, I'm going through this middle red one. then again I need six okay six and I go here in these red ones then again through this black and uh, here my first heart is almost formed Okay, and now I'm exiting again here through these two red beads. I need six. And I go here through this middle one. Then six again. And I'm going here in this direction. Then I will reposition my thread by going through the black. and then through the following two okay and i'm going to continue this process until the end and i'll meet you here okay guys and here i am at my last step and i add here these beads like this now i will make an additional row and after this row my work will stay really flat and really nice okay and i'll show you how i'm doing it first of all i will go one more time through all of those beads to reinforce them okay now here what i want to do is exit one bit away from this inner angle okay I'm here and I'm one bit away from the inner angle and I'm adding one black bead 
and I want to go in the same place one beat away from the inner angle and I pull now it makes my heart come like this to the center and stay in a better shape then I'm going through all of the red beads in this direction and through this black one as well that is separating my hearts my heart shaped petals and I'm exiting here then through these three one bit away from the inner angle and like this in the same place one bit away from the inner angle and I pull then I'm going again through the same path through these two reds through the black and then in this direction through all of the beads aiming for the angle or if we should be correct one bit away from the angle okay I'm here and I think guys you got the idea and you could continue this until the end and I'll meet you here okay guys and here I am at my last step where I'm adding at the same place my last black bead okay then what I want to do is go again like this and like this now here guys it is time to attach my earring finding i'm taking it and i take two beads two black beads go through it and then i want to take two more okay so this is what i have and now i'm exiting uh, through this red bead that is next to the black and i'm going in the same place through this red bead from the other side that is next to the black and then of course i'm going through the black one and when i pull you see here i have my earring finding attached and i want to reinforce this joint here by going several times around it okay and when i'm ready with the last reinforcement i want to go through some beads in this direction i will exit here at the angle of my work and i want to make a knot and cut my thread okay and i'm making my knot by making here a loop and going twice through the loop i've made and i pull and then i go through the following seed bead and i'm going to cut my tail thread and now my heart shaped valentine's flower is ready okay guys and now my saint valentine's flowers with heart shaped petals are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you motivate me to make more and more tutorials you could also check description for full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mainly share them on my facebook and instagram pages and you will also see paypal link for donations my second channel with the fast clips and of course you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel thank you so much for watching and bye bye from me